The Earth has been home to humans for over 2 million years, where several generations of humans have evolved. So is it necessarily the best planet for human life to exist? Well, you might have to rethink this as scientists have discovered some strange planets and they believe that one of them may be better for human life than Earth. Here, a question arises. Why are scientists looking for a habitable planet for the humans of Earth? Isn't the Earth we've been living in for years enough for us? According to a new study in Nature Geoscience, our Earth will not be able to support and sustain life forever, and our oxygen-rich atmosphere may only last another billion years. This is because the increase in Earth's surface temperature will cause a runaway greenhouse effect that would create conditions more extreme than present-day Venus, causing life on Earth to become extinct. To prevent the human race from becoming extinct, scientists and astronomers are spending billions of dollars finding new planets for habitation. While finding such planets in space, scientists have found several unique planets that have some really interesting characteristics. Without any further ado, let's jump straight into some interesting planets discovered by NASA in recent times. J1407b One of the most known planets scientists have discovered is the J1407b. For many people, it's just a bunch of letters and numbers written together, but instead, it is far more than just some random variables. This unique planet has been a topic of interest for many scientists due to the massive size of its rings. It is an extrasolar planet that is located 433.8 light years from Earth in the constellation of Centaurus. Constellation is a group of stars that appears to form a pattern or picture. J1407b was discovered first in 2012 by the University of Rochester, New York. J1407b is also known as Super Saturn due to its Saturn-like structure, but 640 times larger in size. J1407b has 37 rings surrounding it that span an outstanding 30 million miles. Even though it is 433.8 light years from Earth, the rings can be seen on Earth if the planet rotated around the Sun. It is a gas giant of enormous mass. Being a gas giant, the possibility of landing on J1407b is nearly impossible as the spacecraft would fall through its core. J1407b orbits its parent star 1s WASP J1407473-394542.2 or simply as V1400 Centauri in an eccentric oval orbit. The planet has a surface temperature of 5,757K and has a mass of 13 or 26 Jupiters. According to Professor Ken Worthy, the planet is about 16 million years old, which seems a lot, but in terms of stellar age, it is an infant. For your reference, the Sun and the Earth are 4.5 billion years old. Even though J1407b is really fascinating, it is surely not the planet where humans can survive. Let one live a better life than Earth. However, to better understand which planets are habitable for humans, we have to discuss the habitable zone. The Circumstellar Habitable Zone, CHZ, or simply the Habitable Zone, is the distance from a star at which liquid water could exist on orbiting planets' surfaces. Habitable zones are also known as Goldilocks zones, where conditions might be just right, neither too hot nor too cold. These conditions are essential for human life to prosper and flourish. In our solar system, Earth is the only planet that sits inside the habitable zone as it has liquid water. The distance between the Sun and Earth is just right because if we move closer to the Sun, the liquid water on Earth will start to boil and if we move away from the Sun, then the water would freeze. Therefore, in order to search for habitable planets outside the solar system, scientists have to study the distance between the exoplanet and the star to figure whether the planet lies in the habitable zone. If the planet does, then scientists can move forward with their further research about the planet. Kepler-452b Out of all the exoplanets scientists have recently discovered, 
Kepler 452b is the strongest contender for being the next habitable planet for humans. It is an exoplanet orbiting within the habitable zone of Kepler 452, which is a sun like star. Kepler 452 is located in the Cygnus constellation and is about 550 parsecs, or 1,800 light years from Earth. Kepler 452b was discovered in July 2015 with the help of NASA's Kepler Space Telescope. Kepler 452b is also referred to as the Earth's cousin due to its similarities in size and the distance between the host star. Kepler 452b orbits Kepler 452 star at a distance of 1.04 AU or 156 million kilometers from its host star. This distance is almost equal to the distance at which Earth orbits around the Sun, i.e. 149.6 million kilometers. It takes Kepler 452b roughly 384 days to complete a full orbit around its host star. Kepler 452b has a mass of at least five times that of Earth and a radius of around 1.5 times that of Earth. The standout feature of this exoplanet is that it is the first potentially rocky super-Earth planet discovered orbiting within the habitable zone of a very sun-like star. Since Kepler 452b is 1.5 times larger than Earth, the runaway greenhouse effect would impact the exoplanet around 500 million years later than Earth. TRAPPIST-1 Probably one of the coolest discoveries by NASA is the TRAPPIST-1 system. TRAPPIST-1 is an ultra-cool red dwarf star in the Aquarius constellation that has 9% mass of the Sun, radius slightly larger than Jupiter, and a surface temperature of 2,566 K. The fascinating thing about TRAPPIST-1 is that it has a planetary system of seven known planets. These planets are known by the names TRAPPIST-1b, TRAPPIST-1c, TRAPPIST-1d, TRAPPIST-1e, TRAPPIST-1f, TRAPPIST-1g, and TRAPPIST-1h. These names are given in the alphabetical order and represent the distance between the star and the exoplanet, i.e. TRAPPIST-1b being the closest and TRAPPIST-1h being the furthest. TRAPPIST-1 was first discovered in 1999 and its surrounding planets were discovered in the years 2016 and 2017 based on observations from the Transisting Planets and Planet Testimals Small Telescope, aka TRAPPIST, and numerous other telescopes. TRAPPIST-1 is 40.7 light years or 12.5 PC from the Sun and is estimated to be 7.6 billion years old, making it 3.02 billion years older than our solar system. The exoplanet TRAPPIST-1b is nearly identical to our Earth in mass and orbits less than 2 million kilometers around the star, which is almost 1% of Earth's orbital radius. This means that one year on the exoplanet would be equal to 1.5 days on Earth. Due to such a small orbital radius, TRAPPIST-1b would be extremely hot, which would make it impossible for human life to flourish. TRAPPIST-1c is the largest of the seven planets, but still slightly heavier than the Earth. Being closer to the star, this planet is inhabitable for humans. One year on TRAPPIST-1c will be equal to two and a half days on Earth. With TRAPPIST-1d, we're slowly entering the habitable zones of these planets. Even though the planet is much closer to the star, it is still habitable as TRAPPIST-1 is a really dim star and the amount of light reaching the surface is closer to that of Earth. This is also the planet where there's a higher possibility of liquid water. One year on TRAPPIST-1d would be equal to four days on Earth. Just like TRAPPIST-1d, TRAPPIST-1e is also a strong contender for human habitation. The planet is almost as big as Earth, but only three quarters the mass. This has a density almost identical to the Earth and indicates a solid rocky surface. One year on TRAPPIST-1e is equal to four days on Earth. TRAPPIST-1f lies on the outer limit of the habitable zone, which is why there are very low chances of it being habitable for humans. TRAPPIST-1g and 1h lie outside the habitable zone, which is why they are not feasible for human habitation. One year on TRAPPIST-1g and 1h lasts 12 and 19 days on Earth, respectively. Even though TRAPPIST-1e is the ideal planet for human existence as of now, it still isn't 100% habitable. 
This is because these planets are tidally locked to the star, meaning that the same hemisphere of each planet is always facing the star, while perpetual light enshrouds the other. For several years, scientists have been searching for new planets outside of our solar system where humans can live. Such a planet has to lie in the habitable zone so that liquid water exists. Throughout this research, scientists have found several interesting exoplanets like the J1407b and some exoplanets like Kepler-452b and Trappist-1e, where human life can flourish. Further research is being conducted to check whether these planets are 100% habitable or not.